everyone, today's practice is connecting with the earth. Elements of the earth, so that relates to being balanced, being grounded and being stable. So get onto your mat and let's get started. Lovely position, just closing your eyes, hands placed on your thighs. Finding a moment to arrive into the room. Grounding with the hips, your bottom fixated onto the mat and lengthening through the spine and the crown of your head of forcing all the flow of energy to the bottom and to the base of your spine. We're going to work on our root chakra today which is the Muladhara chakra located on the base of the spine and we're going to lengthen that visually from the top to the bottom. So bringing your breath to the natural rhythm and just finding a moment to slowly breathe in through the nose and sigh it out through the mouth. Breathing in through the nose and just let it go through the mouth. Placing your right hand onto your belly or lower belly and abdomen. Placing the left hand onto the chest. And breathing very slowly through the nose. And exhaling through the nose. See if we can breathe in through the nose two times. So inhale, taking it twice. And exhaling it very slowly four times. So practice that, inhaling one, two, expanding that belly. And exhaling one, two, three, four. Take one more cycle, breathing in, expanding the belly. One, two, and exhale, contracting it slowly. One, two, three, four. Taking a moment to notice if there's any tension anywhere around the hips, the waist, and just melting into that tension with the breath. Very slowly breathing in through the nose, remembering the breath. Connecting to the ground, pushing yourselves down. Bringing the awareness around the body and the mind, leaving all the distractions away. Lovely, gently releasing the hands, very softly opening the eyes and softening the gaze. We're going to take our left hand out and inhale, lift the right hand up very gently. Taking it over, exhaling and pushing that left hand all the way down into the mat. See if you can go over. Lovely. Grounding that left hand onto the mat. Imagining that you're actually outside on the grass and feeling the warmth and the coolness of the grass at the same time. Inhale, coming all the way to centre. Exhale, release that right hand. Going over to our left side, so breathing in, lifting the left hand up, taking it over, exhale, and pushing that right hand all the way onto the mat. Very slowly stretching that left hand side out. Feeling the mat, pressure onto the mat. Flow of that energy very slowly today, going around the body and the mind. And then inhale, taking the hand all the way up, and release. Interlacing the hands. This time we're going to turn them outwards and inhale, lifting and looking up to the ceiling, visualizing there's a sky here. We could be doing the class outdoors, but we're not. And then as you drop the chin to the chest, just leave the hands up there. So take your chin, chin to the chest, bowing down, feeling the stretch on the back of the neck. Good. Inhale, looking and shifting the gaze up. And exhale, take the chin to the chest. Good. And one more 
more time. Lift the gaze up to the ceiling. Great work, guys. And release the chin to the chest and releasing the hands now. Coming now very slowly into tabletop, just finding yourselves, opening the hips up, planting the palms on flat onto the mat, grounding through your fingers. So placing them really sharp and hard, opening the hips up so your shoulders are stacked upon your wrists and your hips are stacked upon your knees. Lovely. So as you're here now, just fold the legs, feet down, drop the belly, inhale, lift the chest up and open the chest up. So cat cow, very slow cat cows today. And as you exhale, curling the back. All the way under, under, under. Great work. Inhale, lift, drop the belly, lift and open the chest up. And smile. And exhale, curling like a sweet little cat. Good. Two more. Inhale, lift, opening the chest, planting the hands still on right to the floor, onto the mat. Exhale, curling the spine. Last cycle, inhale, lift and open the heart up. Exhale, curl. Beautiful. And then coming back into neutral, we're going to lift our left leg up. So pause, breathing, tucking the foot, navel in, lifting the left leg up and also lifting the right hand. Push that left foot as if you're pushing that foot into the wall. Really forceful and heavy, imagining that left foot going up. Great. Pausing there, balancing, finding the focus on the floor or in front of you. Not getting distracted at all. Your practice, your vision. And as you exhale, you bring the hand back to the mat. Getting ready to go over onto the right hand side. So push that right foot all the way to the back, again as if you're pushing into a wall. And then lift the left hand up, looking forward or on the floor, again, wherever your focus wants to remain today. Feeling lovely, grounded, warm, feeling the warmth of that energy through the body. And exhale, releasing the left hand onto the mat, taking the knees together. We're gonna to bring our right leg over to almost join your left hand, stretching the left leg back into pigeon. So those of you who are familiar with it, take your right foot almost all the way to your left hand if you can. If not, not to worry. Just bring the palms and the hand, forearms onto the floor, onto the mat, stretching the left leg, pigeon. If you want, you can bring your hands close up and you just open up the chest. So two variations here, choose what's comfortable, okay? So those of you who want to be down here, you can just drop your head then onto the mat. Welcome the earth and welcome the energy to travel up our forehead and the crown of our head and then bringing it all the way down to the back of the foot. Beautiful. Stretching, feeling the stretch, full body stretch. And as you take the next inhale, lift the chest up, bringing the hands very close together, releasing that right leg all the way back into tabletop. And we're going to find ourselves doing the same on the left side. So bringing, taking the right leg all the way to the back, just stretching it out so it's slightly easier. Take the left leg all the way over to join your right hand almost, and then coming down. So whichever variation you choose to do, whether you choose to drop your head onto the mat, or whether you choose to open your chest up, just ground up. So if you're grounding through to your hands, you're here. If you're grounding through to your hands, then your head, you're here. Whatever option feels comfortable, feel the stretch in the hips, push the hips back almost. And breathe, taking a big inhalation through the nose. And exhale through the nose. One more, inhale, and exhale, and just very slowly bringing the hands together, if you were on, if your head was on the mat, 
and releasing the curves to coming back into tabletop. Widening the knees so that they're sort of on the outer edge of the mat, bringing the big toes together. So joining your big toes together, we're going to go into a nice extended child's pose. Okay, so your knees are wide, just taking them to the outer edge of the mat. As you go down, taking your hands all the way out, and your head drops onto the mat. See if this is comfortable. This is a, this is a wide-legged child's pose. Those of you who are used to doing the child's pose with joint knees and hands to the back, please choose that option. Not necessarily what works for my body will work for yours. So this is your practice, choose the option that works for you. Okay, so for those of you who are in a wide legged child's pose, you'll be here. And enjoy the stretch. Your hips have dropped onto your heels here. And your hands are stretched all the way out. At this point, see if you want to lift your fingertips and just give it that deeper stretch. You'll feel the stretch going all the way from the shoulders, rolling onto your spine and all the way to the lower back. Beautiful. Breathe in and breathe out. Grounding, strengthening and finding that stability. Drop the hands now and just bring them very gently close to you. You're going to bring your knees in together. You're going to go into tabletop again. From here, tuck the toes, shift your hips all the way up into a downward facing dog. Find yourselves and downward facing dog. So push, push your heels back if you need to, adjust yourselves. The hands are planted onto the mat. Hips are pushing and facing the ceiling and shoulders away from the ears. Bending the knees slightly. Breathing in and out. Now lift the heels slightly. So you're just lifting the heels very slightly and then push them back again onto the mat. See if you can ground through the heels and the arches of your feet. Lift the heels and exhale, push them back into the mat. Just a variation of a downward facing dog today. Lift the heels, but the hands are not lifting anywhere. They're just staying very nicely planted onto the mat. Exhale and push the heels down. One more, lifting the heels. And exhale, push the heels to the back. See if you can have a nice little bend in the knee and dropping the belly almost onto the thighs. If you want to, you can bring your arms slightly closer so you can get a nice push from the hips. Good. Excellent. As you take the next inhalation, slowly walk, walking the feet to the hands, coming into a forward fold, holding onto the elbows, Breathing in and out. See if you can now just hold on to the elbows, but stretch and lengthen the legs out. So you're in a forward fold with the legs stretched out. Dropping the hands onto the side. And for those of you who want to bend your knees, you can. Just having a nice forward fold. Inhale, lifting halfway up. Hands come to the shins or to the thighs. Nice flat back. Over here, see if you have Push your feet into the mat and then not lift it off. Good. Exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees if you need to. Drop the belly onto the thighs. Good. Inhale, lifting the hands all the way, sweeping them. Very gently having a bend in the knee. Reaching up. Exhale, taking the hands out to the side here. Inhale, lift, tucking the navel in. And exhale, taking the hands out to the side, opening the heart up, joining the legs here if you can, feeling the grounding, feeling the tightness, heaviness in the feet. Inhale, lift the hands up, sweeping them up. Exhale, we're going to go all the way down into a nice forward fold again. And stay here. Inhale, lift halfway up, flat back. And exhale, folding forward. Inhale, taking the hands, sweeping up all the way to the ceiling. 
and exhale, bringing the hands into heart center into prayer position, holding them to the chest, just finding the position that you want, standing nice and tall, firmly. Okay, releasing the hands now, taking the right knee, hugging the right knee. Now, see if you can balance here, push the left foot into the mat, onto the earth. Now, as you release the right leg, take it to the back, hold your waist if you need to. We're going into our warrior one, so bending the left knee, pushing the right leg slightly back, so that it's facing the edge, right edge of your mat, okay? So you're holding on here into a nice warrior one, making sure the left knee hasn't gone over your toes or slouched over. Inhale, lifting the hands up and going into a lovely bend. Anybody that wants the hands out to the side, please feel free to do that, okay? Otherwise, hands sweeping up to the ceiling, gaze to the fingertips. Beautiful. Keep smiling. You might find the practice slightly slower today, but you will feel the benefit of it later. Definitely, because you're going to feel less stressed, less tired. Good. And as you exhale, taking the hands out to the side, pushing out, taking the right leg facing the screen, into warrior two. You know where you're going with this now, guys? Brilliant. Widening the stance a little bit if you can. Right leg facing the screen, left leg facing the wall, and looking at your left fingertips. Beautiful. Good. Breathing in, tucking the core in, tucking the navel in, lengthening through the spine. Beautiful. Breathing in and out. As you exhale, just bring the hands to the side. We're going to move our right leg again to face the right, right edge of the mat. Okay, holding on to the waist, stretching out and lengthening the left leg. Reverse prayer. So take your hands onto the back as if you're in a prayer position, but reverse prayer. Inhale, lift and open the chest up. Both your legs are stretched out, neither leg is bent. Exhale, just folding forward, but not going all the way. So just looking forward. Beautiful. See if you can balance yourselves and feel the grounding and neither leg is shifting and even if it is it doesn't matter let it go let go of all the stress and the tension diverting the attention just to yourself for yourself as you inhale lift the chest up as you exhale release the hands bring your right leg to join your left leg to the front whoops and as you're here now tucking the left leg in holding on to the knee, balancing here. You might just feel slight wobbliness in the right leg and that's quite okay. And as you release the left leg, we're going into our warrior. So it's just slowly push it back, take the right knee in a bend, inhale, lifting and taking the hands up. So your left leg is just slightly out facing the left corner of your mat. Again, if you want your hands out and open your chest, you're welcome to. And for those of you who want the hands facing the ceiling, please feel free. Nice warrior one, nice flow. Grounding through the right leg, grounding through the left leg. There are days when we might feel a bit stressed, a little bit imbalanced, that's okay. Some of these yoga postures help us just to find ourselves. Good. Now, as you exhale, you take your hands all the way out, Left leg facing, I'm going to be facing the wall. And my right knee is bent now. So warrior two, breathing in and out. Fingertips out, looking at my right hand. Beautiful. Keep smiling, guys. Excellent. Oh, one more. Breathing in and out. Opening the chest up. Breathing in and out. And now as you release the hands, exhale. Again, take your left leg to face the left corner of your mat. Lengthening and stretching both legs out, hands up to your waist, taking them over to the back, interlacing the hands. And as you inhale, open the chest up, exhale, folding forward very slowly and just facing forward as opposed to having folded. 
So nice flat back and staying here, appreciating the stretch. You're going to feel a bit of heaviness in both legs because you're pushing them down to the earth. Lovely. Connecting with the elements, raw elements of the earth. And as you inhale, smiling and coming up. As you exhale, releasing the hands, bringing your left leg to join your right leg. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the hands up and stretch out. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lifting halfway up. And exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, sweeping the hands, scooping them all the way up. And exhale, bringing the hands to heart center in prayer position. And now we release the hands. We're going to go into a tree pose. I'm going to face the screen, but you do what you need to do. If you prefer that you are at the corner of the mat, that's fine as well. So grounding, just having the feet hip width apart and standing nice and tall, feeling the length through the crown of the head. See if we can take our right leg first onto the ankle. And if you're ready, you can actually take it to the shin or all the way to the inner edge of your left leg. Beautiful. And hands into prayer position. Find your focus on the floor or in front of you, all right? And then take the hands all the way up, opening the branches of the tree. You can expand and open as much as you want. Oh, see, imbalanced. <laughs> but it's fine. Not necessarily are we having the same day every day. Brilliant. And very slowly releasing and letting go. Now, the same on the left. So just finding yourself a free movement, taking the left leg all the way onto the inner edge of your right leg. Breathing in and out, not holding it tight, not clenching. And taking your hands deep all the way up in balance today. So I'm going to stick with the shin. Brilliant. And release. So, holding our hands in prayer position, hip width apart, legs hip width apart. Inhale, lifting, nice and tall. Exhale, go with me into a nice yogic squat. Beautiful. I'm just going to close my eyes. You can, if you want to, push the heels onto the mat. And inhale, lifting all the way up. We're going to do a couple of these. So just be gentle with yourselves and go slowly. Exhale, very slowly coming into our yogic squat. Okay, breathe in and out. Now slowly inhaling, going all the way. And exhale, gently coming down onto the earth. Taking the hands on the outer edge, so just pushing the legs out a little bit. Inhale, lift. Beautiful, smile and exhale, coming all the way down. Staying here now, just pushing the hands so that the legs are open and sit nice and tall for me. Open the chest up, breathing and out. Listen to your breath. One more time, breathing in. and releasing the hands. Just coming on to your knees. So you're gonna be on your knees now. You can have your hands to your waist. We're gonna take out the right leg to the side. Push the right foot onto the mat, facing the screen, okay? Now from here, very gently, taking the left hand onto the side, opening the chest up, so you haven't slouched over. Opening the chest up, Taking the right hand, inhale, take the right hand all the way up. Look at the right hand, okay? So your left leg is flat on the floor. Now, slight flow. So inhale, lift up. Exhale, take the hand all the way to the back. And then inhale, take the right hand over. So it just, this is just a flow. So let's go with the flow, guys. 
Inhale to just lift it there. Exhale, taking it all the way up. Inhale, take it all the way to the right. Brilliant. And exhale, open the chest. Two more. Inhale, take it all up. Look at your right fingertips. Exhale, pushing all the way, opening the chest. And one more. Inhale. And exhale, open that chest up. Beautiful. Now as you inhale, lift that right hand all the way to the ceiling. Look at that right hand. And as you exhale, bring it back to your hip, right hip, slowly shifting up, taking the right leg in, going over onto our left side. So whenever you're ready, take the left leg out, push it all the way onto the mat. Okay? When you're ready, take the right hand very slowly onto the side, open the chest up. Okay? Inhale, lift the left hand. And exhale, take it to the back and open it up. Good. And then inhale, take it all the way over to your right, making sure you've got space between the right shoulder and the ear. And that you haven't slouched over and that your jaw is not clenched. And exhale, open the chest. Inhale, take it over to the right. Feeling a beautiful stretch. Ground through your right hand onto the mat. Exhale, open. Two more. Inhale, go over. And exhale, open up. Nice sort of feel here. And inhale one more time. Taking it all the way over. And exhale, open the chest up. Inhale, placing the right hand all the way to the ceiling. Looking at your left hand. Exhale, bringing it back to your left hip. Very slowly, gently lifting up and coming into centre. Going on to the floor now, whenever you're ready. Bringing the legs together. Just going to go into a nice forward fold. Inhale, lift. And exhale, fold forward. Just let go. Releasing all the heaviness. You should feel much lighter, much relaxed. And release. Taking the right leg into the inner edge of your left leg. Inhale, lift the hands up. Exhale, reaching the left leg down. If you can ground onto the mat from your sick bones and then lift it off. Beautiful. Exhale, release. Taking the right leg out. Taking the left leg into the inner edge of your right leg. Inhale, lift and look at the sky. Exhale, roll and fold over. Holding your right leg. If this is slightly tricky, you just bend the right knee and place your head onto the right knee. Good. Release the left leg. Taking the legs out. And we're slowly going to go into our cooling down, Shavasana. Good. So get ready to relax. Beautiful. Lying down on the mat, closing the eyes. Palms facing upwards. Ah. Breathing in normal now, just as a natural rhythm. Softly in through the nose. Ah. And side out. Pushing the lower back, the middle back, the upper back, your shoulders are grounded onto the mat, and the heels are digging into the mat. Oh. Slowly take an inhale and an exhale at your own pace. Just notice the gentleness of the breath. Now imagine and visualize just the landscape of your choice. We, none of us have been able to go on holiday this year, so let's visualize where we might want to be. Might just want to be at home, might want to be somewhere else, or just be content. Feeling the connection of your feet as if they're going into the sand on a beach or, or going into the soil in the garden. 
we come back to the root chakra, which is at the base of the spine, visualizing that red light, which is the color of the root chakra, traveling from the soles of the feet all the way up to the ankles and the calves and both shins, pulling the energy down into the ground, into the soil or into the sand or whichever landscape you are visualizing. Also reversing the energy to flow upwards, nourishing any tension and emotions that are stuck in the base of the spine, in our hips, in our waist. We tend to store all the tension and emotions in our hips, so let's let go of that. Travelling with that red light all the way into our lower back, nourishing the mid-back and the upper back and the shoulders. Feel the flow of that energy travelling up on the back of the ears and the back of the neck, and right through to the forehead and the crown of your head. Softening the cheeks and unclenching the jaw, noticing how our fingers automatically curl in when we're relaxed. Thanking our earth and our mother earth for looking after us. Flowing our energy from the bottom all the way to the top and reversing it back from the crown of the head through to our belly and our abdomen all the way down. When we're tired and our energy feels low, we don't feel grounded, we don't feel connected. But hopefully some of these postures and asanas will help you daily to get through. Placing the right hand on the abdomen and placing the left hand on the chest just where we started our practice. Just breathing in very slowly and breathing out very slowly. Joining the hands into prayer position this time around, just taking the fingers all the way to the forehead. Your eyes still remain shut. And then bringing the hands back onto the belly and the chest. And remaining here today for the close of our practice so that we can ground and feel grounded even further. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you next time. Do remain there on the mat and finish the practice off as you wish to today. Feeling earthy. And I'll see you soon.